Hey everyone, welcome back to another exciting episode of Tech and Productions. Today I back up being joined once again by Nick. And as you all can see, he is a Mecha Frieza deck profile for you all. Um, supposedly his deck's not legal yet. I don't know, some Technically. ruling about a turn being pushed back, but he has the pr cards for it already. You'll see him. Uh, yeah, comment, like, subscribe, stuff. Nick, take it away. Yeah, so I got, I got money, so I'm able to do that, but... <laughs> with, with the Frieza leader, um, a lot of people know the lead. I know. A lot of people turns, know it, man. so it's pretty pretty self-explanatory. Reduces the cost of your extra cards from your hand by one on, on the Awakened side. Um, then you can only activate extra cards once per turn. Um, and then the Awaken is a uh, hybrid, so four life. Draw one, untap one, flip the leader over. And then Awaken side, um, you can activate your mono yellow extra cards um, with energy cost of two or less by just taking a life instead of uh, paying the energy cost. So really good for a pinch. Um, if you're going for a game and you're tapped out, you can use this to play some of your stuff to get more value. Um, good, Also really good if you're tapped out, you can also play your extra cards to save yourself just in case. Um, when the card attacks, draw a card. And then once per turn, another good thing with this leader. When you activate a yellow extra card from your hand, you choose one of your opponent's battle cards, which is to rest mode. So really clutch for keeping that control aspect going. You can um, stop opponent's attacks and just get more value out of your extra cards. So you'll get really good value out of some stuff anyway, but this just increases that. So there's the leader. Um, we'll start with the Unison of Choice. Um, so Vegeta, Unison of Fury. Honestly, it's just one of the best Unisons in the game. Um, it's got control, it's got pressure. Um, it pretty much can do it all. Um, once per turn, you can activate main to switch one of your cards to rest mode, one of your battle cards, or this card, and add a marker to it. So you don't have to worry about your minuses because you'll have an inherent plus one whenever you play it. Um, then the minus one, um, you remove a marker, then your opponent can attack with cards greater than their energy cost for the turn. Really good when you play this as soon, earlier in the game. Because a lot of a lot of players cheat out stuff, so it's really it just shuts that down. You just can't attack with your big stuff. And then for minus three, um, which is one of the big parts of this card, um, choose one of your opponent's energy, switch them to rest mode. Then this gets plus five thousand double strike dual attack for the turn. So this card alone can just close out games on its own. And then you can combo with stuff in your deck to add more effects to it. So really, really good units. I love it a lot. Then we run two Vegeta Prideful Transformations. Um, this is just plays off the unison um, if you have it on board. Um, it's a blocker, um, counterplay. Play the card, the card being played is played in rest mode, and you can't activate counters, counter plays for the turn. Um, really good for the defense. Um, you see a lot in this deck, you want to defend yourself as much as possible, so it runs floodgates, it runs high defense stuff, it runs counter plays. This is just one of those if you don't see an extra card in hand. And kind of a last resort too, because you do play other counter plays. So you want to make sure you play this at the right time, otherwise you're just shutting yourself off from your other extra cards, which would give you more value. So, and this is a blocker too, so it stops attacks. Then we have two Roshi, um, Forged a Will. This is just a counter attack, just one drop counter attack. Play the card. Um, really good on the unawakened side, since you can only play extra cards once per turn. So if you have like a really aggr aggressive uh, matchup in the beginning. Um, you can play an extra card to stop attacks and then play this to also keep their um, attacks low. And then you just get a 5k body so you can combo with it or swing with it if you get spicy. just depends on how you feel. And then we have 2 Poutine Dark Sorcerer. Um, pretty much standard in every Mecha Frieza deck. Um, whenever you switch a card to rest mode, you play this for free. And then whenever your opponent activates a counter or a skill or plays a card with a skill, choose one card switch it to rest mode so um, you have to be careful with this because this isn't you don't get to choose the auto it's just whenever they whenever they activate it so sometimes you, it's really easy to miss the timing on this card but um, really good if you're able to get it to stick because you just stop attacks um, you switch for rest mode stuff so like I said you can combo with other parts of your deck just overall really good card for mecha just, like I said just a staple and now some of the other staples um, you, unite assemble um, one of the big playmakers of the deck. Um, the way I described it, on turn one, you can draw three cards essentially with it. Draw four, depending on what you're playing. So, um, activate main, draw two cards. The cost is reduced because you're leader skill, so you can play for one energy. You can take a life from your life, and then you draw two cards. And if your opponent taps out, you get to play another U9 card for free for two cost or less. So, I'll show those in just a second, but just like, like I said, just a really clutch card. Especially if someone's going for game real tall and you don't have a negate, you can play this, take a life, 
um, draw some more cards and get more combos, um, or early game you can start switching some of their stuff to rest mode with the stuff you play. And then we have Four Chappelle, the Iron Drake. Uh, this is one of the big ones you want to play off of Unite Assemble. Um, because the way it works is once per turn when your opponent attacks, so it's one of their entities to rest mode. So essentially you can slow their curve down a little bit, tap them down. Um, if they if they rely on their leader first to do anything, you can make them tap their leader so they play a little bit slower. And then if you get more of these on board, they're individual from each other. So if you have two or three, you're making them tap three for just one attack. So it really makes your opponent play very precariously if that's the right word. <laughs> um, it just really makes them think about how they're going to plan their attacks out, and you can catch them really good with this card. And then it's a 15k body, so not bad. Then we have three Basil, um, another one of the targets you pick with the Unite Assemble. Um, clutch card, because um, if you play with the Unite Assemble, you'll get a draw one, so potentially you can get a draw four off of one card for one energy, which is stupid. And then towards the end of the game, it becomes more clutch, because if your opponent has five cards in rest mode, it gets plus 15,000 power and dual attack. So really good to clear out unisons, um, clear their board out if they're playing if they're playing a heavy board, um, or go for game with it too because you have a dual attacker. Then the last new nine card we play is Row, Brass, uh, Brass Supremacy. This one's kind of a tech choice. Um, just depends on how your opponent's playing. If you're playing a really slow matchup, or if they're not if they're not tapping themselves, this card will help you get there to tap them out to play other stuff. So whenever it attacks, um, choose one of your opponent's cards, switch it to rest mode. So it could be anything. It could be their leader, it could be their unison. Mostly you want to go for their energy, but uh, if they have a block, they have blockers on board, you can swing this, tap one of their extra blockers down. Um, it just it catches all. Um, so it's a really good tech choice. Really sneaky, so like I said, you can continue your rest mode combos. Now for some of the extra cards that we play, this is a pretty heavy extra card deck. Um, two Crusher Ball. Um, I've gone back and forth with this and Giant Ball. Um, I don't play Giant Ball because one, I don't have it, um, and two, this would have activate counter play in, in Counter Window One versus Crusher or Giant Ball going Counter Window Two. Um, and both cards effectively do the same thing. It's just when the card is being played, you play in a rest mode, and then any of the extra cards you play will proc your leader to tap something. So inherently, you're going to get two cards in rest mode when you play this, which is super strong, really good. And then um, some of the counterattacks, we have Nimbus. Um, it's Nimbus, it's been around forever. You pitch a yellow card, your opponent can only attack one time with battle cards. Um, really good if they have wide boards, if they're trying to push for game, stop attacks, they only get one more left. Um, a good Nimbus can really save you in a pinch. So really good card, um, itself it's a land of four. Then we have three Final Flash. Another really clutch card. Um, Activate battle um, if all your energy is yellow. Um, choose one of your opponent's battle cards, ignoring barrier and negated skills, and then your card gets 15,000 power for the turn. It's really good for defense if they're trying to go for game with something big, like uh, quad strike or triple strike or something. You can negate it, only make them only take one instead. Um, really good if you're going for game two because when you're if you're tapped out for game, you can use these um, for just taking your life, so you can get yourself down to one. Just go really tall with your battle power, so really good. And the big key is ignoring barrier. So um, there's another card here that combos really well with this, and I'll show it in just a second once we get there. Now for the illegal shit, uh, Mecha Frieza Robotic Repost. Um, it's a great floodgate. I mean, it's it's expensive right now, so I would say wait till it goes down in price. I just really I just wanted to play the deck, so I really just chilled out in bottom. But you negate the attack, play the card. Um, the, car, the cost is reduced by one with the permanent if you have an extra card in your energy and an extra card in your drop area, so, or any combination. So you can make it a one cost negate, so really easy to play turn two and onwards um, if you charge the right things. Um, and then the auto is where it really shines. Um, whenever your opponent attacks with a non-unison card, they have to choose something and switch it to rest mode. So really good if your opponent's going aggressive or if they go real tall because um, they tap themselves out they can't attack anymore so really good stop a card and then um, they activate main for two choose one free yellow frieza with mecha in its name energy cost of four and play on top um, the card i pick for that is mecha frieza returning terror um, the main reason i play this um, yellow really struggles with removal and this is a really good removal card um, it's dual attack inherently um, pretty low battle power but you're only playing it for two energy so it's not too bad 
but 15,000 dual attack and then auto when you play the card you pitch one yet one card from your hand um then this game double time double strike for the turn then you also ko two battle cards in rest mode so really good for removal there's no restrictions on it so you can hit pretty much anything that doesn't have barriers so really good removal really good for clearing out unisons because the 15k double strike dual attack or this can also push for game for itself you just have to combo it right but really good finisher that's why it's only at a two end though and now the super combo choice um zamasu sacred disbelief this just plays really well into the deck of rest moding stuff um, you'll notice pretty much all the cards what they do is switch stuff to rest mode so um, this will do it during the combo step if they have a white board um, or if they don't swing with their leader first tap their leader down so they don't get inherent value off of it um, really good card in a pinch um, it saves you a lot and then just another combo piece for rest moding stuff then we have three monkeys the grade 8 bardock raiders war cry uh, really good combo piece um for two energy, you combo with it, it's double strike. Um, if your leader card's yellow, what once you combo with this, you play it, um, you draw a card, um, choose one of your opponent's battle cards, switch it to rest mode. So really good if you're wanting to put stuff down on tap, um, really good on your opponent's turn too, because they're trying to push, um, they're trying to push, tap one of their other things down, you get an extra draw off of it. So really good staple for yellow. Um, I run it at three because I like seeing it. Um, yeah, it's really good. Now, one of the other big combo pieces um, Bergamo. Um, so this will proc whenever any card gets switched to rest mode by skill. So the way it works is for two, um, when one of your opponent's cards is switched to rest mode by skill, play this card and then auto. Um, if your leader card's yellow, um, choose two of your opponent's cards, ignoring barrier, switch them to rest mode. So you can play this as early as turn two if you have if you're playing the right stuff. Um, but really good on both offensive and defensive. Offensive, if you're pushing for game, rest mode their energy with something earlier in the game, play this, tap it, more stuff down. Or if they do have a lot of energy open, like if you're playing blue or something, tap their energy down, tap more of their energy down. So it gets them down really low. Um, and then offensive, or defensively too. So if you're playing, if you're playing, use one of your extra cards, rest mode something with your leader, tap two, rest mode their energy so they can't complete their turn. So really good disruption play. Um, overall, just a great card. You want to see it, you want to use it. Now, here comes some of the spicy stuff. Um, it's all one ofs, but really good. Um, Slip Retaliation Cooler, the counter counter. Um, I, I kind of want to make space for two of these, but right now it's only at a one of. Um, this just helps go for game two. If you swing with one of your big boys, they negate it, counter counter, um, their counter goes away. Then this gets played, you'll draw a card. If you have a lot of cards in the rest mode, I think six, um, you'll draw an extra card. Um, really good disruption play, um, especially if you're going for game. Um, just negate the attack, play negate anything play the card um really good really good staple for yellow too really considered in almost any deck um the sneaky get the sneaky play double further instruction choppa if you're swinging with one of your single boys because you have a lot of single boys um they have two life just hit them with one of these um pretty much self-explanatory just give yourself double strike so you just clear out for game two so. and then one of the granddaddies, Cold Bloodlust. Um, pretty much have to play it if you're playing a Frieza deck. Um, the card being plays, plays with the skills negated. Um, super strong. Um, it gets extra value because extra value because of your leader um, tapping stuff down. So pretty self-explanatory. Cold Bloodlust, great card. Um, one of our overall choices, Secret Identity. Um, like I said before, this deck struggles with removal. This will get you around that. Um, Overrealm, choose any of your opponent's cards that have to six, send to the warp. Um, we're seeing a lot of token play, especially at our locals. So this does really well against that, because um, you can warp them. And as many tokens as you want, because it's an up two. Um, and then you swing with it too, for a 25 body. If you have your further second Stompa, get a, get a double strike in, go for game with it. Really good removal card, really great card overall. And another secret rare we play, <laughs> Fu Shroud of Mystery. Um, this is one of the big ways to finish the game because you're going to get to turn six with this type of deck if you play defensively enough. Um, Overrealm for six. Um, it's double strike in and of itself. Um, when you play this with Overrealm, your opponent can activate abilities with any card besides their leader card until their end of their next turn or beginning of your next turn. So shuts off their stuff for defense, shuts off their stuff for offense. So. If you're playing with enough life, um, this is going to protect you for another turn, and you could also close games out with it too. Um, Fu Shrouded, great card. It's a great one of. It's a second secret rare. And then the actual secret rare we play, Heron's Lineage. Um, 
Also another really good sneaky card on defense. Um, this is a very budget friendly SCR because there's a lot in, there's a lot in circulation right now. But um, the activate battle, um, if your opponent has three or more energy, she's one card. Um, energy costs a seven. You can't control of it. So they're gonna steal. They're gonna go with something big if they're comboing their whole hand. Heron's lineage. You can take it. Um, and then what I was mentioning earlier with the combo with this card, if you have Final Flash in hand, this rem this ignores barrier. So if they're, this is just an inherent great combo. Um, you Final Flash them, um, potentially for free with your leader ability, um, negate their skills, ignoring barrier, and then you steal it, steal their card with Heron's lineage. So if they think they're safe, oh, I got this big barrier card on field, they can't take it. Negate their skills, take it. Um, as I've done this a lot. Really, really, really good combo. Um, if you're playing yellow, this is really a really good um, package to play. So that's the deck. Um, I like it a lot. I need to learn to play it better because I cheat with it. Um, and I I just need to play a little bit more. I'm more of an aggro type of player. Um, I'm definitely more faster than what this deck wants to do. So I just need to give a lot more time. But other than that, I mean, I really like it. Um, getting to switch their stuff to rest mode, it's just a good grief package. And who doesn't like that, right? Fair enough. With that being said, uh, thank you all for tuning in. There's buttons. Click them. Nick, last words. Um, Not much. I mean... Freeze is cool. It's meta right now. Um, the cards, some of the cards are expensive, but it'll go down. So um, if you like it, test it on Untap. Yep. And with that being said, Fluff, you uh, you here? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, make sure to reach cards, know your plays, let us make mistakes so you don't have to. And as always, Fluff out.